Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel, it's Thomas. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your router for gaming. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you guys about my two previous videos. They are how to get PlayStation Plus for free, that's going to be the first link in the description. The second link in the description is going to be how to boost your connection using a DNS server on PlayStation, how to make your connection the fastest that it possibly can be. So what we're going to do today is we're going to navigate over to the settings and we're going to go down to network and then we're going to view connection status. I'm going to tell you guys what you need to write down, what you need to leave up or what you need to look for as we're doing this process. So you're going to want to get the MAC address of the PlayStation that you're using. Whether your connection is Wi-Fi or LAN cable, that is going to be up to obviously you and write down the one that you use. If you use LAN cable connection, then go ahead and write down the top one. If you use Wi-Fi connection, write down the bottom one. We're gonna be using those for the rest of this video. So we're gonna go over to the computer now and I will see you guys there. All right guys, we're on the computer. If you guys didn't know, you can do this on your phone. Just go ahead and open Safari or Google Chrome if you're on Android or whatever, and it'll be the same steps so just follow what I'm doing and uh, we'll give you guys a better connection on your PlayStation 4. So what you're going to want to do is go to 192.168.1.1. This is the default gateway for all routers. If it is not the default gateway for your router, go ahead and look up your router's name and then look up default gateway or access um, URL or something like that. And it will go ahead and give you what you need to get to the login page. So we're going to go ahead and click enter and then it's gonna ask us to log in. We're gonna type in, sorry, gotta click it. We're gonna type in admin and then password. That is the default for my router, might not be the default for your router, so go ahead. If it doesn't work, if that doesn't work, look up what your router's login credentials are. So I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. It's gonna bring us into my router page. I know where I need to go, but you guys need to find where it says QoS settings. So I'm gonna to go to advanced. Okay, now we're on the advanced page. Click setup, at least for my router. If you have Net Netgear Genie, this is the steps you want to follow. Then we're going to go to QoS setup. I'm going to wait for that to load. It does take a second. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and find your PlayStation with the MAC address on the right side here. So you're going to look for the uh, MAC address that your PlayStation had for either Wi-Fi or LAN. And uh, however which way it'll be connected, it'll be on here. So mine is right here, this 2866 uh, E31. That is my PlayStation. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one. This might be a different setup. You might have to type everything in, like the whole MAC address and all that. And then what you're going to want to do is you can name it. I'll just name it um, PS4 real quick. And then what you're going to want to do is give it the priority, the highest priority on your router. So go ahead and give it the highest priority. Everything else can be behind because you deserve the best connection, okay? Am I right? So then you're gonna click add and then it will take a second to add it in to your router settings. And then there you go, as you can see on the bottom there, my PlayStation was added to the highest queue. So this will give you the best speed possible from your router and you will have the you will be at the top, the pinnacle of the connection status. You will come first before everybody else, everybody else watching Netflix, Hulu, all that good stuff. They're gonna be dragged down a little bit just so that you can get your gaming on, okay? So uh, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please drop a like on it. If you haven't already, subscribe and check out my other videos like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.